Hi, I've noticed that Horse With No Name is making the rounds again, and I thought I'd take that opportunity to show you how to loop it, because it's got to be the best song for starting looping. Cigar box guitar, tune to G, G, D, G. The chords for Horse With No Name, if you don't already know, are 4, 2, and 0. That's a kind of E minor. And then 2, 0, 2. That's a kind of D. The basic rhythm. If you're brand new and have trouble with that, you can just go 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so you'll notice I have a multi effects unit here. This is a very uh, old unit. You can see them on eBay and stuff like that for 25 bucks. But because there's a drum machine in this looper, that's going into the computer. So if I change anything in the computer, or if I was using an amp, uh, it would change the sound of the drums. So you have to get your guitar sound before your looper. I have this set up for two sounds, clean, and then dirty. Um, we're going to use those two chords, and we're going to use the E minor pentatonic scale, penta meaning five, tonic meaning tone in this case. So that starts on that we're doing it in the ninth position, E up here. And that would be 9, 12, 14. 9, 12, and of course 14 here as well. And then 9, 12, 14, 16. And I'm going to stay right in that range today instead of playing down low or anything like that. I'm going to keep it up here. So we're going to make a loop. I've picked a drum beat, in this case, Rock 9. And I have it set for 165, which is about close enough tempo so it sounds like the song, but it's not uh, too killer fast. And I'll play a bit of that for you, and I'll jam with it a bit. Now, of course, you can pick any beat that you want. You don't have to do what I do, that's for sure. So now I'm going to switch to the looper side. And when it starts the loop, it'll be like a really fast six count, tick, 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 tick. So you might not hear it where you are, but if you get one of these, and this is a great looper for beginners, and for teachers, actually, because I can sort of screw up and it'll automatically correct it in theory anyway so yeah let's try making a loop But anyway, I hope you get the idea, and it's just a ton of fun, and it's a good way to work out your scales, and that's got to be probably the easiest looping song I know. Have a great day. Bye.